investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Homosassa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Uh, isn't it wonderful? This gentleman here with the gold report, right before the market fell apart, ended up with PAAS. We had a 98% gain in a year. And, uh, I mean, you weren't 99% proof like Irish whiskey, but we had a good gain there. You always told us to do what we feel comfortable with. And if I lose a little bit of money on the table, I will, but I know that I just pocketed eight or $9,000 in two weeks. That's a beautiful thing, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. So this, you know, I read these cards every day, folks, but, you know, I, I want to explain to you where these come from because this is pretty f cool. This is uh, the, the guy that wrote these, Miguel Ruiz. And it's basically based on uh, the mystery of the Toltecs. So this is his, uh, I've written these cards to help you guide you into, I've written these cards to help guide you to your true nature, which is happiness, freedom, and love. When you're aware that no one else can make you happy and that happiness is a result of your love, this becomes the greatest ma mastery, mastery of the Toltecs, the mastery of love. I hope Use these cards to restore the spirit of playfulness that is vital to loving relationships. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 156. NASDAQ is down 69. S&P is up 4.5. Gold contract trading up $4.30 at 1730 an ounce. We got silver up 7 cents at $23.34 an ounce. That's 7 cents at $23.34 an ounce. Light sweet crude up $2, $68.55 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note right now down seven ticks, trading 133.17. 30-year off half a point, off 15 ticks at 163.07 and King Dollar. King Dollar is up 108 ticks, trading at 93.053. Euro 117, yen 110.58, and the British pound is at 138 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? You're at all-time highs. You don't have any volume. Uh, that being said, that's in the SPY. Uh, we're at 54 cents. You got 30 million shares traded. What we have out here today, and this is subtle, but this is you got to pay attention to this. You know, what, the SPY is only down $1.90, but we got an expansion of volume. You're at uh, 27 million right now. You know, yesterday you did 25 million. We hit a high with 21 million. This will probably get down to about 30, 35 million. And if that's what we get, I expect what you're going to see here is that you're going to go after the lower end of this consolidation. Um, and that's somewhere around 355 to 352. We'll see whether it can get by the big down day that we had, which did 57 million. But that's how it seems to be setting up right now. Gold. Gold contracts are going to have to build some cars to repair the damage on the way down. What you have out here today is the bottom line. You, you ran to 1718. You're at 1730 right now. Uh, gold has to get back inside its, the, the range. The range is 1772 to get back inside the higher range. That being said, the equities aren't doing too bad here. Uh, people are basically picking these equities up slightly. Not, not huge, but slightly. We've had the GDX reject lower price out here today at 3192. Uh, GDX is coming into a breakout area with 29 million shares. You've only done 15. Uh, after the close, I think we got real gold after the close. You're going to have a bunch of these come out with numbers. Let me see. Okay, so it's the 10th. Okay, after market tomorrow is Royal Gold. Franco Nevada is going to be after market tomorrow, too. Oh, it's going to be a big day out here. So those, both of those are streamer equities. And what happens with a streamer, folks, okay, 
is that where the streamers go, that's normally where the price of gold goes, because what happens is that it's predicated on the wholesale price, not the wholesale price, the gross price of gold. That's what they make their money on. Right now, you got Franco Nevada pulling back into a breakout area. That breakout area had uh, 850,000 uh, shares. Right now, you're only doing 359, which is really cool, by the way, okay? So that is saying it wants higher price. If we go take a look at Royal Gold, Royal Gold right now, that rejected lower. Well, Franco Nevada is stronger than, Frank, uh, than Royal Gold. Uh, that being said, bottom line is that Royal Gold rejected 112.49 right now. You're at 113.48. Uh, the infrastructure build went through, and you can see these, uh, uh, you know, if you want to, the steels are running and running in a big way. You know, and what you had out here, folks, is that you had, like, Nucor. Nucor took a B point out of an ABC structure yesterday, took it out with volume. Bottom line, you get a price projection of 120. And the thing is amazing, it's up $10 right now. So you're at 117.85. So you're going to see how these ABC structures work. Uh, bottom line, so let's go take a look at this. I don't know if this, I think this is breaking all time. It's breaking all time highs also. So what's going to get intriguing here is to see just how this whole thing's going to shake out with Nucor because bottom line, you get good volume. You have an ABC structure in the way up. Uh, even if we go over to the uh, U.S. Steel, U.S. Steel has a little juice underneath it. But you can see... Uh, when you look at this here, I'll put this up so you can see how the sector, when, when you put the sector up, you can see the strongest equities that have been in there. So you got, uh, like when you take a look at this third column, if you happen to be watching Tiger TV, and you can see when you're looking at this third column, the bottom line is that Nucor, you know, bottom is the strongest one. Uh, it's been up 21%, U.S. Steel's 15 after that, then you get down to Steel Dynamics, 6%. Bottom line is that you get higher prices coming at you and coming at you in a big way. We go take a look at the silver market. So if we take a look at silver, what we have with silver out here, silver's up seven cents. This is also going to have to build cause uh, in a big way. And uh, this, oh, this is cool. One of the thanks, man. Um, Pan American silver. So oh, this is good. This is coming out with okay. So this is coming out with numbers after the close today. And Pan American Silver is trading $25.36. They're going to be looking to do $451 million in the top line. They're going to be looking to do uh, $0.33 cents on the bottom line. And if we take a look at this, okay, so it's been a one-way route the last three months. We're down from 36 to 25 We put this on a weekly. Now, this is going to be good to watch, man. And this is why. So you put this on a weekly, and what you're going to see is that this is a, a two-year consolidation in a broke underneath the consolidation. So this is going to tell us quite a bit, man. They're going to come out with the numbers. And, you know, bottom line, what I'd love to see it get back inside the consolidation, which is $28.95. And we'll see how that baby shakes out. Uh, we go take a look at, let's see, one of Max, M-A-X. Let's see what this baby is. Okay, so Max, this is a, provides a technology platform that brings insurance carriers and consumers together in real time. The low is 21, the high is 70. Uh, this is, uh, they're doing 696 million, and we know insurance is a good business. Okay, just stay right there, folks, come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. C call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 155. You get the Nasdaq uh, down 71. S&Ps are uh, up three and a half. And if we finish up with uh, Max here, so uh, I'd, I'd be a little careful with this equity. So what you have here, you're trading at uh, the, the symbols Max, M-A-X. You're trading at 2892. Uh, we bring this back. It looks like it's going to come right back to where this whole thing went public. And that is... Uh, 2162. Let me just see something for a second. Let's see what the issue information is. Oh, this is a trip. Listen, look at this. So they went public at 19. That was in 2020, but then they had a secondary at 46. Pretty amazing. Now, folks, let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday. And don't forget, Basil has an outstanding show every trading day right here at 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also, has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go into the newsletters. You'll see the opening call on the left-hand side. You just hit subscribe. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. Six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 or 22%. A year for $1,195, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee with about 12 different archives that our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, has in there. So if you want to understand the Chapman wave upside down, get a huge amount of value for your money, bottom line, come over and test drive it. Because the bottom line, if you like it, you keep it, you get, you get charged, you don't like it, guess what, it doesn't work for you. You can ask us for a refund, you get a refund, no problem. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you doing? Well, I heard you're going to have a heat wave, but then it's going to break, thank God. you got three or four days coming at you. They're going to be pretty intense, man. I know, but we've, we've had very few uh, 90 degrees or more days over the whole summer. It's been a very wet summer. Yeah, but, well, yep. you get 95 coming at you this weekend. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll have to deal with it. Yeah. It's all some are so short, i got to appreciate everything we can That's get. That's good. Whatever. Okay, so we get a hot market here too, Basil. What do you think? So there are a couple of things going on. On a purely technical basis, I'm showing you here on the left side is the Dow Daily. Here's the Dow Weekly. On the right is the Monthly. What's really important at this particular time is that the daily chart 
Oh, let me just show this here. So we always have new people. So let me just show you this here. I'll get it quickly. There it is. So in the Trap Wave methodology, I try to identify the lowest low bar. And all we do is we count each successively higher peak. We alphabetize them. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, but it's that fourth highest peak, the peak D, where you've gone from a buy signal to a buy mode, and the obligation is in the, in the buy mode that it should take you to at least a D, and then other things can happen. So with that in mind, look what happened when we went to the high back on the 16th of July, went to a D, and then two days later, just a nominal E at 35,090, and then dropped sharply. Now what we've done is we've gone to a D, and today we just popped to an E, a slightly higher high, 35,285. So in the Chapman Wave methodology, this is where we get kind of cautious, haven't done anything yet. We've actually got long positions. We added to the long position in the Dow Diamonds just recently. So uh, we're going to see where this takes us. But this is where I start to get a bit cautious based on the Chapman Wave notation. The technicals are still good, but what's interesting is the S&P, where did I type that? Let me just do that again. The S&P made a peak C and pulled back a tad yesterday, and today it went to leg D. And look, there's a little doji candle, all-time high, 44, 45, 21. So here again, the notation says, be a little careful here because this is where we expect at peak D or E to have at least some kind of a consolidation as leg D in the weekly chart. This is still like being the, in the monthly chart, and it says because August has gone to a higher high in leg B, you have to, you cannot get a peak D until January the, at the very earliest of 2022. So so far that's very good. Then if you look, so if you're looking at the QQQ, there's an alternate count that I have. But right now what I am saying is that. I'm watching this very closely because together with the QQQs, I like to always add the SMHs, which the QQQ is the NDX 100 trading vehicle, but the SMH is the semiconductor, and that went to a peak D at 271.79, four sessions ago with a deep red candle here. I'm watching this all very closely. We are fortunate we've got about five or six of our positions have gone to all-time highs. Uh, one is a, a yearly high. You were just mentioning CLF. You were mentioning the steel companies. We've got uh, Cleveland Cliffs. We've got, we went long on the uh, 20, I think it was the 28th of uh, July at 22.49, trading right here at 26.17. Nice. So this is in play. It's a bounty. I say it's a very nice move. It's a, a multi year high, not an all time, but a multi year high. And it's getting into this Chapman wave inside track repellent zone so in the weekly chart so this is as far as i'm concerned um i haven't got the signal other than the chapman wave notation that says be really careful because we're about to have a consolidation but i'm trying to get ourselves ready for that because uh, under any other circumstances this the rally that we've seen has been so selective and rotated through so many different sectors that even in the uh yeah, even, I mean, let me just see Adobe. I mean, Adobe is just a leader, and uh, uh, yeah, it is made a peak D yesterday, uh, 6.34.98, sharp red candle down. So I'm watching the weekly charts are still very good. I'm just on a short-term basis, getting a little bit cautious. I think that we we, we could have some kind of a, a digestive phase, but I haven't got it in in my uh, actual daily charts. As I say, if I go back to the Dow Industrials. Um, this is technically still pretty good. So it's this notation that says to me, uh, keep, an, keep an eye on this because if there is a pullback in the Dow in the next three or four sessions below 34,900, that says, uh-oh, now we've, we've started a consolidation. But up until then, I'm going to try to hold it long as, <laughs> as long as I can. But I am getting ready for something because the, the turndowns have been very sudden. As You remember the one that was that Friday uh, when we hit the high on... Uh, the 16th of July, that Friday made a high and then closed sharply lower. And then we had just one big smash on that Monday to the downside to 33,981. And then we rallied. So what happens in a case like that is usurp some of that, that negativity with that very quick move to the downside. And then it tries to get back on track to the upside. But you can see so far, we haven't really, from this rectangle, I always talk about rectangle formations can last a lot longer than your patients. From that, um, from the July high, uh, we've been going sideways. In fact, you can even go back to the 
high of uh, May the 14th, the week of May the 14th. And we've, we've only just the last three weeks just snuck a little bit above the rectangle high. So all of it says to me, unless the Dow really breaks into the 35,370, 35,450 area, and it does it really quickly within maybe this week, um, I think we, we, we could have already started some kind of a digestive phase. But my big thing here is if it's rotational, even in the Dow, if some of the sectors pull back, there have always been other sectors that have taken its place. So how any correction comes about, you have to have bad news with the VIX routing very sharply and the market taking any bad news seriously. So far, it's kind of ignored any, anything that could be bad news. So we'll yeah, see the, what happens over the next few days. There's no doubt. The downdrafts, you blink and you don't even know it's a downdraft, right? Exactly. <laughs> Folks, just come over to our website at TFNN. You go into newsletters, you see the opening call on the left-hand side. You whack that button. Basil, have a great one, safe one. We look forward to show tomorrow. Thank you very much, John. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. Come Are right back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors tfnn is excited about our new software charting program the art of timing the trade charts in collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now at 161. The NASDAQ is down 64. S&P is up 4.5. Let's go look at Pfizer. Pfizer, folks, broke out of a 20-year. This is, like, intense, man. <laughs> This is a 20, I believe it's a 20-year high. Let me just pull this back. We'll start right with 25 years. Well, actually, I'll put it on. Let me put it on this one. Yeah, it is, man. This is, this is unbelievable. And I know a couple of Tigers that have owned this for a long period of time and, and have done very well. I mean, the bottom line is that they pay, uh, let me see, what are they paying here? Well, they're paying a 3.23% 3 .3, 3 dividend. 
Um, okay, so let's take a look at this first off. First off, you get an ABC structure on the way up, and let's just see how big this is. This is a good. This is a good size one, man. Forty-five. Well, you get six points. Not bad. That's fifty. Well, it's already hit forty. Six fifty-two. So fifty is one number. Now let me bring this back for breakout ways. Breakout wise. Okay, so. On a monthly, this is pretty amazing, actually. So the high, look at this, man. So the high, the last high was in, I can't even believe I've been doing this this long, man. It's 1999, $47.43. We broke that today, and, you know, um, you, get, you get some conviction here, man. Uh, the further, what, what you want to see if you're long Pfizer is that you want to see it get away from 47.43. The further we can get away from 47, 43, bottom line, the higher it can go on a, on a much longer term basis. Um, when you break something like this, there's price projection wise, this is a very tough one to basically speculate where it's going to go. And the reason I'm saying this is, is this, is that most of the time when you see something like this, you first off get a consolidation and then you can take the top to the bottom of the consolidation, and that's your price projection. Um, what you can see here, however, is that when I always talk about the aspect of how you go into a swing point, if you come into the swing point with volume, bottom line, your probability gets pretty good that you're going to break it. Well, look at this, man. I mean, this is, you know, this is a long-term deal. But in December, look at how it basically went after the high. In December, we did 1.1 million shares going into... 537 million on the monthly. And then we pull back. Now, watch this. You pull back with 665 million versus going higher with 1.1. And guess what? You come back to upside, you blow it away. Bottom line, higher prices are coming at you. Inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX. Mercado Libre is up 5.5% uh, or $104. You got Ross is up 3.5%. Three, three you get uh, Dollar Tree up uh, two and a half percent. You get eBay up two and a half percent. Now that's interesting because you get Rush stores in Dollar Tree. They're making hay once again, taking away from it. And this is where what Basil was talking about. And this is in general, you know, wherever the SMHs go or the chip stocks in general, that's where the NDX 100 as well as the Nasdaq go. And bottom line, once they really get going on the way up or the way down, they will take the S&P with them. Inside the NDX 100 today, you got Micron down five and a, half, and a quarter percent. Moderna is off 4.3. Lamb Research off 3.4, and you get Dexcom uh, down 3.4. Uh, some of the higher volume equities out here. Let's take it. Well, actually, let's go take a look at AMC. A AMC came out with their numbers. You know, bottom line is that the the meme stocks saved AMC because there's no doubt they bottom line um, have a lot of cash. That being said, uh, the number to keep your eye on in AMC is 28. If this bra baby breaks 28, then you're going to be right down there at uh, $12. Uh, they came out with their numbers, and the numbers go like this. And revenue-wise, at least they made some revenue, a lot more than last year. Uh, so they, they took in $444 million. Last year it was $18 million, but you can remember last year, right in the beginning of this whole deal. They lost 71 cents. Now, they see themselves losing money for the next, well, this, this goes out for the next quarter or the next year and a half. So um, it's pretty intense, man. I mean, uh, that's, that's the real bottom line um, as to where and how these, these folks are going to stay alive. Some of the other higher volume equities out here today, Advanced Micro is down 57 cents. Fies we already talked about. Apple's down 47 cents. You got uh, Bank of America. That's still on the move upside. That's up 73. You have Carnival up 97. Cleveland Cliffs up 130. U.S. Steel up 150. American Airlines down 61. And Virgin Galactic off BOA. Man, Virgin Galactic, this is, uh, you talk about uh, pushing paper out at the right time. <laughs> There's no doubt that they did it at the right time. Uh, that thing had exploded up to 57 when they took the moonshot, uh, not the moonshot, the, um, you know, just getting out of the atmosphere. And uh, bottom line is that I think they, I think they got the push paper out at about 40 bucks. And right now you're at 31. So 
pretty intense. There's no doubt about that. FSR, what is this? It's up 25%, is that what you're saying? What do we got here? Oh, you got, okay, so uh, Fisker, which is a building technology enabled, okay, asset light automotive business. Yeah, the automotive business is on fire, man. The low is $8.70, the high is 31. This company, look at this, company only has 123 people in this, interesting. Oh, I see. This is a brand new company. They only do forty-nine million. Interesting. Forty-nine million. They're going to lose money for a while, but evidently, people like the technology. There's no doubt about that because they're buying it out here, and yeah. So we'll see how they, how it create, how it reacts at its high, which is twenty dollars and sixty-one cents. Let's go take a look at uh, Google out here. So Google has just continued to basically stay at highs, break highs, all of the above. Now, it's going to be interesting with Google, and this is real subtle, but what we did have with Google was this. You made a high out here at 2,800, and it has good volume. Now, that being said, this is what ended up happening. So you made the high at 2,800. Then you come off the high with 2.7 million. You don't like to see that. You made a high with 2.1. You come off with 2.7. You're going up and testing this area at 600,000. That takes quite a bit, man. Do you know what I mean? Uh, in general... What you have there is that if we get a test and that contraction is that dramatic, that is saying that Google wants to go back down to this uh, 2,600 area. Amazon, we go take a look at the, the big dog Amazon out here. Amazon right now is trading at a price point of 33.21, and we'll see whether it's going to break this uh, swing low. Swing low is 33.06. What Amazon does have, when you put this up, this in. Let's put this up on a weekly. And what you're going to see in the weekly, Amazon got back inside its lower range. Anything back inside 3553 is saying that Amazon can go to the lower range, which is 2871. So if you're looking to buy Amazon, uh, bottom line, start getting ready. <laughs> uh, because if it gets down to that point and it gets down there with light volume, then let me show you this, okay? Because what Amazon has done is this. When it, when it broke topside, it had pretty good volume. On Thursday of last week, it came down with volume. So that's saying that it wants lower price. That being said, what we have done is that the last time that we down at the lower levels, we tested with 20 million shares on a weekly versus 28 million. Now, most times what happens, if in fact there's going to be a buy, is that it comes down to the lower end and you're going to be looking for less than 20 million on a weekly. You get that? That would be a buy. And Amazon, I can tell you, folks, is really a hard stock to buy every time it pulls back because it looks like it's going to be over, and it just isn't over. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for valued tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. 
Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Index is up 199. You get the NASDAQ uh, down 75. S&Ps are up by two and a half. And uh, you get Bitcoin. Bitcoin's running out here at 45,511. This has been, been XBT. It's been quite a run, no doubt. And... You know, it's like, man, this is you. This is truly the Wild West because there's no doubt. There's today there was another. Well, and I don't believe this is Bitcoin, but this is the rest of the um, tokens. Uh, you had a company called Poly Network. They just got they just got hacked of six hundred million uh, in basically cryptocurrency. Uh, and there's no doubt tens of thousands of people are affected by the hack. Uh, let's see. So this is kind of this is really intriguing too how this works. So listen to this, folks. Okay, 33 million of the stablecoin Tether that was part of the theft have been frozen by the Tether issuer. So the people that did have Tether on there, that is going to be unavailable. So that's kind of interesting how Tether works. Okay. That being said. Uh, it isn't clear from the Polywood Network who runs the protocol. Uh, let's see here. These uh, Ether. Ether is possible that they can get some of the funds back, but that's only if they try to cash them out at centralized exchanges. Uh, bottom line is that people are going to lose most of their money. That's the real bottom line. It's pretty amazing, man. This is like... Uh, and right now, what they're talking about, th this is one of the easier ones. What this article is saying, this is one of the, well, it's not one of the easier ones to hack into. What it is is that N DeFi applications, right now, listen to this number, man. This is a monster number. There is 80 billion, and that's why the hackers want to basically get into these applications. 80 billion. That is a trip, no doubt. If we take a look at uh, Bitcoin right now, Bitcoin has been on a one-way run. That one-way run uh, just went from a, a low out here of uh, 29,300 to 45,519. So big numbers. There is no doubt about that. That was uh, some monster numbers that are out there. Intel. So look at this one, man. This is, you know, this is the state of the um, amount of cash that's running around the marketplace. Uh, inexpensive money is out here in a huge way. And what you have with uh, Intel, Intel's going to sell $5 billion in bonds in five parts. As, the, as Intel, uh, bottom line, is, is the bottom line going to be, you know, basically starting to open more chip facilities. The longest portion of the, of the offering is going to be a 40-year uh, that's going to yield 1.2 percentages over treasuries after initial talk. In the 1.45 range. So listen to this, man. This is crazy. Proceeds from the sale. Okay, once. Let me just see this for a second. I got to see this. Okay, so outstanding bonds after the day before. Two points. Okay, this is over the 30 year. Okay, so they're, they're going for 40 year money. And let me just look at this 1.2 percentage points over 30 year money. 
So let's go look at 30-year money right now. So this is the Treasury. So if you happen to be looking at my screen, then we're going to get out into a 30-year. <laughs> look at this. Oh, my God. That's sick. So picture this. They're going to get 40-year money, folks, okay? But 3.5%. 3.5%. Imagine that you're... They, this is what it is, man. This is just an amazing time. Uh, so you are lending someone. We, you, we aren't, okay? But the bottom line is there's, there's going to be probably more people that want to basically buy these than there is available. So they're going to come in at about approximately 3.4% for 40-year money. Pretty amazing. Because the 30-year right now is 1.98, and that's the market right now, not the market, the market for Intel, uh, 5 billion. And let me just see this. So Intel takes in, let's just do this. Let me see this, how much they take in a year. So revenue-wise, they take in 73 billion. They make a buck 11. 73, well, they make 478 per year. That's still a lot of money, man. That's, that's pretty, that's, that's a lot of money, there's no doubt about it. But you can see where we're at interest rate structure. The bottom line is that you're still very inexpensive infra, 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 <laughs> interest rate structure. There's no two ways about that. Um, that is, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that's a beautiful thing. There's no, there's no doubt about that. Um, if we go over and we take a look at the GDX, let's uh, take a look at this GDX. So the GDX right now, this is trading down 41 cents. Inside of the GDX, now what we're going to see out here tomorrow is pretty cool because what you're going to see here is that after close tomorrow night, Franco Nevada comes out with numbers. Franco Nevada is 9.4%. An Eco Eagle, let's see when Eco Eagle comes out with numbers. AEM. That's still November, so they already come out with numbers. Um, Newmont, I believe, rejected lower price out here this morning. Now they're down 81 cents, so that's lower. Barrick came out with their numbers yesterday. They, were, they weren't bad. That's, they're selling that down. Man, someone, this must be Fidelity still selling there. This is pretty intense. Uh, now, Barrick Gold, that's coming down with some volume, man. I mean, we came down. Now, you came down Thursday, and you did $29 million, but today you still got $24. That's, that's a big number, man. Let's put this on a weekly. Let's see. So you're going, this is going, out, going after $18.50. Now, you're going to need a lot more volume to basically get that, uh, break that number, 128 million on a weekly, and right now you're at, well, it's only Tuesday, right? Two, what day is today? Yeah, it's Tuesday. So, you had 24 million yesterday, we're at 24 today, so let's just say 125 million, and put this back up on a weekly, 25 million, Oh, that's not even close. No, no, that's 125 million. Okay, 125 million going into 128. Ooh, that's going to be dangerous, man. Um, how we come down there? That's the real bottom line. So we'll see how that baby shakes out. The XAU. Let's go take a look at this. I want to see this volume on the XAU and the HUI from yesterday too. Um, so we had the XAU right now is down 91 cents. That's quite a contraction of volume. That's not, yeah, there's not a lot of sellers there. Yesterday we came down with 25 million. You're going into 30, you're going into 53. That's a decent setup. The Gold Bugs Index. This is at its swing low from five months ago. That swing low had uh, 38 million and 27. I'm down at 20. There's less sellers here, man. The real quest question now is that uh, what would be the catalyst? And uh, we need a rejection of lower price. Dow Industrials uh, up 140. The Nasdaq is down 85. S&P's a flat. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty and amino acids in an easy to use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air and water, without them life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at tfnn.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up uh, 190. NASDAQ is down 85. S&Ps are uh, flat, and the, the NDX down 97. Now, this NDX, folks, is something to really watch because... What we have here, this is early in the week, man. Uh, bottom line is that uh, NQ, this wants a lower price, man. And this is telling me that it's going to have a shot to do it. Uh, and it'll be, it, where, I, where I'd be going with this is the lower end of the consolidation. That lower end of the consolidation on the NQs is 14445 um, You have an expansion of volume, and it's subtle. But when they're subtle like this, you're really going to watch it, meaning that it doesn't look like it's off much and it's not okay it's only off two dollars and 32 cents but you can see the expansion the expansion is 30 million we did highs well we did sideways just at 25 you did a high with 21 when you look at the act of what you did here so you did a high of 21 million you're coming off it with 30 that's 50 percent man okay that is saying that we have some sellers and what is sticking out like a sore thumb right now is how we came down on the 15th of july uh you know what did happen is that when we came down on the 28th, uh, 27th of July, um, that was down fast and furious. When Basil and I were talking about it, you blink an eye, man, we were right back heavy up. That being said, that is what has happened in the market until it doesn't happen in the market. You know, and I'm, I'm not looking for something big, I can tell you that right now, because we haven't had the expansion of volume that you would have with a big downdraft. But what is out here right now for sure 
is the speculation that it can get down to the lower end of the consolidation, which is 352. Uh, the SPY, uh, also that hit higher price with dramatically lighter volume. Uh, what we have out here today, it's taken out the high that, let's see, right there we had uh, 58 million, you did 36 million. Yesterday you did uh, 41, the day before you did 38, and you're at 36. Guess what? If this was a store, and we were all in the store at the same time, and the person said, hey man, you're gonna have to pay up another ten dollars. You're gonna look around and say, hey, there's less people here, man. Why am I gonna pay more money? Guess what? You wouldn't do it. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one.